Congratulations. How do you feel right now? Feeling a lot better now. Caught my breath, so I feel good. That's awesome. How confident were you when the decision was read? I was pretty confident, you know. I, I ended that fight strong, you know. And at that point, I'm not really thinking about the judge's decision, but I felt pretty good. And especially when they started saying 30-27, 30-27, I, I figured it was me. How did you overcome, like, some of those moments in the fight where, like, he dropped you? And so how did you overcome that and, you know, put on the performance you just did? Uh, I couldn't tell you, you know. It's just something that's, that's in me. I'm going to keep on fighting. If it feels like I'm losing or I am losing, it's not going to change anything. I'm, I'm going to keep fighting the best I can until it's over. The Rob Font call out, pretty good call out. How would you see that one going? Uh, I don't know. Well, he has some, he's lost in some certain ways. So, uh, you know, the, whatever way the water flows easiest, you know. And earlier today, MMA Lab teammate Marcus McGee fought and picked up the win. He said how special it was to share the card with you. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? And for both of you to pick up the win today. And man, to see him go ahead and get in there win first, I was super happy with him and, you know, to win against such a great striker like Bolaños. So for me to go in there, it was just like another day, another Saturday for us. You know, he goes in and spars before me. I go in and spar. We do our thing. And it was just another Saturday. How soon do you want to get back into the cage? I would say around springtime. You know, the way I planned it out is top 15, top 10, and top 5 at the end of the year. Is there, in case maybe Font gets booked or it just doesn't happen, is there someone else you'd like to fight? Mm, no, I haven't really looked at anyone, and nothing that would make sense. You know, I think everyone else is kind of booked, so that's why I figured Font. Sure. Do you think this fight should have been in an arena? It would have been fun. I, I'm pretty sure the crowd would have went crazy, you know, after watching that fight. But uh, it is what it is, you know, so uh, next one, uh, maybe it will be. And looks like there's something good in the water right now at MMA Lab, right? I mean, you and Marcus putting up great performances, and the Bantamweight champion, Sean O'Malley, fights next or in March defending his title. So... How is the atmosphere right now at the MMA lab, and what, what can you say to the people? Uh, it's, it's been great at the MMA lab, you know. It's just something we've built over the years, you know, starting with, with Benson Henderson. You know, he's built this blueprint for us to follow to be where we're at today. And so uh, that, that's all it is, you know, in years of training, all coming to a point. And uh, obviously there I mentioned Sean O'Malley. His fight, how do you see that one going with Cheeto in the rematch? Uh, I think Sean will knock him out. Knock him. What round? First. First loss. Awesome. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you, guys.